I'm heading out to find my fall style. Hi guys, I am en route to Hobby Lobby. We have decided that in the next several weeks, I am going to unbox all of fall. And I'm gonna go through my boxes, my bins, and I am gonna pull everything I don't want anymore because I think this year I am ready for a whole new style. My cutesy wootsy pootsy fall decor that's bright fall colors, I kind of want to do away with this year, pull from nature, do more natural colors with, I don't know, woven baskets and burnt orange and more subtle, realistic, fall decorating, pine cones, crunchy leaves, acorns, that kind of thing. So most of you know that fall is my favorite time of year to decorate, more so than Christmas. I love the meaning behind Christmas, most of all, of course, Jesus's birthday, but I just, there's something about fall, the crisp, cool fall air after a hot summer, uh, the earthy fall colors, the cozy blankets. Now, many of you have been letting me know, hey, did you know Hobby Lobby's got their fallout? Hey, did you know At Home has their fallout? So I've been aching to get out to see what's in store for fall 2021. I like to look at the trends. Now, I don't always follow trends. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends on if I like it. And I, I have this whole vision in my head of what I want fall to look like this year. And I'm going to go to the store and I'm gonna take you guys with me and we'll see what we can find. So I was trying to think about my style and what my style is per se. I mean, I like so many different styles, to be honest with you. I love farmhouse, I love French country, I love Tuscan. You know, so I have followed trends, yes, but you know, trends come and go. And so, you know, I, I've heard that farmhouse is sort of on its way out, sort of, not really. It's sort of just changing into something called country chic. And it's sort of another word for shabby chic, but country chic is I would say a little more refined than farmhouse, not as chippy, not as distressed, more refined that way. Um, warmer neutrals, I would say. So instead of bright white, it might be warm white or warm gray instead of, you know, a cooler gray, that kind of thing. And uh, so with that said, you know, I live in a log home. I like, I'm really into rustic right now. And I thought, hmm, country chic sounds right up my alley. I do live in the country. I live in a rustic log home. Why not, and I love farmhouse, so why not call it log home country chic? And country chic is sort of taking you know, I would say country pieces that are more refined, a little more elegant, a little more chic, and adding vintage pieces to them that may look vintage or may be vintage, and giving it a sort of chic look. I don't know, that's how I look at it. And I thought, that sounds right up my alley. That sounds like fun. The way I'm imagining fall is with big earthy pottery with beautiful fall stems kind of coming out. I also envision wood bowls filled with, you know, rocks or pebbles with some fall leaves scattered with beautiful candles. Just the glow of it would be beautiful big woven baskets full of beautiful fall neutral pillows with a really pretty, I don't know, 
sweater blanket, kind of cascading off the side. Hurricane vases filled with acorns, maybe some fall leaves, with a big beautiful candle, maybe sitting on top of some sort of wood pedestal with some metal legs or a wood pedestal with some really cute footed legs. Oh my goodness, the, the vision of fall is just blooming in my head right now. I really would like to utilize some things from nature like some, you know, r big curly willow branches or just branches in general um, and big pots. Maybe I could put some, you know, autumn amber colored twinkle lights on the branches and scatter some fall leaves in the mix. I don't know. <sighs> I love to dream about different seasons. So much fun. So what I would really like to do is start a new episode where I take you to different stores just to show you what's in the store for fall. And then I'm going to create the most fabulous Amazon store full of gorgeous, what I think is high-end looking items, not the cutesy pootsy wootsy fall stuff. Just more upscale, but at a good price. That's what I want to do. I thought I would take you guys to Hobby Lobby, at home, maybe World Market, uh, maybe Big Lots, Ross, uh, Home Goods, maybe Marshalls and TJ Maxx, and we can go shopping together and see what the trends for 2021 are. I think sometimes you can pull from all different ideas and make it your own. And that's what I love to do. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's all about trial and error. By the way, I don't wanna scare any of you. Please know your girl is not about to decorate for fall right now. I am, it's summer. I'm, in, I'm embracing summer, I'm enjoying it. I don't plan to decorate for fall. I'm thinking maybe mid-August to the end of August. I know a lot of YouTube people start really, really early to get ideas out to their subscribers. But I also know from you guys that some of you do not like me starting early. So Stay in the middle two lanes. Yeah, I don't want to do that. So I think it's, it's fine and fun to plan and prepare for it. Kind of gets the excitement going, if you will. And then when that time arrives, it's like, oh boy, let's take out these items and let's get decorating. So I have not been to Hobby Lobby in so many months. It's crazy. Um, I love Hobby Lobby. It's always been my go-to store, that and Home Goods. But I will tell you, I sometimes I grow tired of the same old same old fall decor. Now, I watched a girl on YouTube and she said that her Hobby Lobby, they were offering um, different variations on things they've done in previous years. And so I'm kind of excited to see, you know, what's changed. But if it's the same old, same old stuff, I most likely will not be shopping there except for perhaps florals. I love that store. I really do. But I just don't want to get... I don't want to decorate with everything that everybody else has. It kind of gets um, boring to me. So I, I like to kind of branch out and try to get things that are a little bit different or off the beaten path. At least that's my goal this year. And this year I am on the, the hunt for unique items. Things that not everybody has. But with my twist on them. So... We'll see what I can find. Getting closer. I can't. I'm so excited. I'm not even really going here to buy anything. I am just strictly going to look. See what see what they have. Just need to park and go in and let's go see what they have.
Let's go! Well guys, I just got done with Hobby Lobby and y'all know I love this store, but it's just more of the same. I'm looking for different. And so I walked out with nothing. Um, but I did find a lot of cute stuff. I'll have to share it, share the footage now. Alrighty, let's get into all the fun things they have here at Hobby Lobby. Check out these cute plates with wor the words blessed, grateful, and thankful. Adorable copper mugs, perfect for fall and winter. And I love this plate. Isn't it cute with the text on it? And oh, I love this plate and the larger version. Super cute. And I paired it with a galvanized steel charger and I think it's darling. I really feel like the going theme this year is black and white. Everywhere I go, black and white, black and white. Super cute plates though. I may go back and get those. Those would be really cute for desserts and soups and things of that nature. Souffles. Oh, I love these bowls. I could have snatched those up, but I contained myself, guys. And I sure love these plates. I really, really like them. And those adorable mugs with the bow. Those would be a cute kitchen display somewhere on an open shelf. And you can't ever go wrong with twig pumpkins and coppery looking pumpkins and checkered pumpkins. Now those are different. I don't know about those. The blessed and gather signs are awfully cute as well as this throw blanket and this thankful, grateful, and blessed pillow. They've got lots of black taper candle holders, fall signage. I thought this would be great to display some pumpkins and leaves and twigs in. Of course, Hobby Lobby always has a lot of signs. And again, black is hot this year, you guys. I thought these coppery candle holders were awfully cute. And here I came across a rustic sign. You can't ever go wrong with dough bowls. You can use them to display pumpkins and pine cones and leaves in, as well as this cute box that says thankful. And of course they have little signs. Thankful, grateful, super cute. Oh, I love this pillow. I thought it was darling. Again, more black. These are great to use during the fall season. And I definitely am going back for this. I love it. It's natural. It's exactly what I'm looking for. And then I came across the large pine cones. Definitely, definitely going back for those as well. It's perfect. These are sort of in the realm of what I'm looking for as well. And I love the burnt orange mixed with muted colors. So that's sort of what I'm looking to do. These wreaths are super hot this year. I mean, everybody's getting those. And I came across these dried floral picks and I love these. These are really cute. I love the dried oranges and the pine cones and the wispiness of them. I may have to go back for those too, guys. I'm really loving these dried floral arrangements. Super, super cute. And of course, they had the signs that they had last year. I wish they'd change them up a little bit more, but I found some new ones and these are really nice. I don't know that I'd put those in my house though because they're a little bright, but I love this look. This is really hot this year. These are cute, really cute for a kitchen. This as well, and the little coffee bar sign is cute. Now these fall tags would be adorable on an autumn tree or even hanging on an apothecary jar. Super cute. 
I love wooden acorns. I may have to go back for those. I had a few that broke in the move. And of course they had a great selection of cute, you know, pumpkin spice, fall coffee mugs. These coffee syrups would be a great display somewhere on a, in the kitchen. Pottery is very, very big this year, and you could put pampas grass in it, you could put greenery, you could add some fall picks, you could stack some pine cones in it. Now, wouldn't these be cute in a kitchen display? Sitting on top of a cute little wooden pedestal. Again, more dough balls, and I found these wreaths to be different and cute. I may have to think about those. Those brown bottles, I love. You could put some fairy lights in those and then turn them on. It would be really pretty. And this bowl filler would be beautiful in any bowl or even a dough bowl. Cute jars. I love the leaves on those. More cute signs. And now we're gonna go into all the florals that I came across. Oh, by the way, animal print is big this year as well. Love that sweater weather sign. I don't know, I don't know if I can wrap my brain around that one. Here I was getting sidetracked. I'm like, Liz, this is not fall. Why are we down this section? These are different and more on the neutral side. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. Very country chic. These wooden pumpkins were different. And of course, here are all the ones they normally have every fall. I love those. Those are pretty. These are cute. They're different. I think those are new this year. I'm not sure. And here we go with the animal print. And this is more my speed. Love those. I love the black and white check pumpkins, but it could be overdone. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about. This is different. This is unique. I love these lanterns because I love the feet on them. So cute. I love this cute lantern terrarium kind of look and feel. That is so me. Love that. All right, that one's pretty unique too. I like that one. Oh, and this one too. This one too. I like the top of it. Super cute. Oh, I love this lantern. Now we're talking rustic. I like that. And as I mentioned, I'm looking for some good baskets. And oh, I love these. Oh, you could put these on any tabletop and create a beautiful autumnal display. And I like this one just because it's different and you could use it as a backdrop on a hutch, even place it on the wall. Now these trays were pretty cute. Again, I'm thinking displays. I love this one. This is like glam it up, baby. I like the hardware. Now this one is rustic and I was thinking, you know, pine cones, leaves, acorns, that kind of thing. You know, with this as well too. And this, this would be really cute in a kitchen. You could do a cute display on top. Hobby Lobby has a great selection of trays and I love the hardware on them. I actually have those. Those are cute for French country, I think. And I like this, that could go kitchen or bathroom. Let's head to the lamp section, shall we? Oh my, are any of you lamp obsessed like me? Oh my goodness, I love those. Those are different. I love those, I love those. Oh my gosh, I love them all. These are more glam, but I like those too. And this one. These are really cute too. Those are hot this year. And these as well. And we've got the black and white check. 
And I thought these were darling. These are plug-in pendant lights. So you could light up any little corner or any place and jazz it up with these cute little lights. I really like the wood detail on this pendant light. Darling, black and gold is hot this year. And if I were to buy that, I would put some pampas grass in that. Do a really cute tabletop display. I love that too. And that, very pretty. Love that as well. Oh, I really like this. Super cute. Love those for the kitchen. I believe all of this is new this year. So it's like those other signs, but different. Sunflowers galore. This pottery is super hot this year. There's the black and white again. Oh, I love this. That's perfect for fall. And here's a lot of fall florals to get your wheels turning. When I see all these beautiful autumn colors, oh my goodness, my wheels are turning like crazy. So much to choose from, so much to look at. Here we go with the twiggy pieces. I love the curly willow branches. I love those grapevine balls. I love that all. I can see incorporating those into my fall florals and greenery on the mantle. Oh, and again, pampas grass is hot this year. Same with these, these pieces. Hot, hot, hot. You could do a beautiful fall display in this little wall bucket and, or you could even put this on your front door. It would be darling. Add a bow and done. So with all the fall florals, think about adding in beautiful greenery that's gonna accentuate those beautiful fall colors. And these are some of my go-to pieces that I always buy at Hobby Lobby. This is my favorite greenery. It goes wonderful with fall colors. Highly recommend get it when it's 50% off. Now these cute decorative balls go wonderful in big bowls or dough bowls. Highly recommend those as well. I love this. I thought that was a wreath. It's not, it's actually a garland. Highly recommend that as well. You can always get a green wreath and add to it with fall colors. And you can see down this aisle, there is plenty to choose from when you head to Hobby Lobby. But make sure you go when it's all 50% off, then you save money. I thought this was pretty. Now this is one of my go-to picks that I use seasonally. And um, I stock up on these when these are 50% off. You can always add Christmas colors. You can add the fall colors, spring colors. It goes with everything. I found this train. I thought this was really cute. I like the little metal feet on it. Love those. Once again, the black with texture and woods is super in. I love those black canisters. Love those. Well, Hobby Lobby was a bust. They had some cute things uh, that I really liked, but again, it's just not what I'm looking for this year. Let's go to Kirkland's. I have not been there, oh my gosh, probably a year. I'm excited to see what they have. All right, guys, let's dive into what they have at Kirkland's. Love this wreath and this beautiful coppery autumn sign. They have fabulous lanterns and check out this bag of bowl filler. I love the dried oranges and apples. So pretty. Look how they displayed this lantern with apples in it. I love the black and white buffalo check pillows with the fringe on the side. 
very good quality, and these are beautiful lanterns. Imagine flameless flickering candles in them, and in those as well. If you're looking for some glass pieces, these are great ones to have. These as well. Love the black base. Very, very in this year. These lanterns are really nice. And you know, black is just gonna make your autumn colors pop. Highly recommend. And these are really nice too. Two in two different sizes would be really nice. They had these lanterns and I love the pottery. This is super cute. And I love these pumpkins. They almost look like sweater pumpkins. And the sign with the beaded wooded trim, love. I like the simplicity of these signs. And their pillows are always such wonderful quality. Very cute. I also love the next pillow. It's very neutral and simple, but very, very cute. And oh, who could pass up this pillow? Love. I really like Kirkland signs. They're just very pretty. So this centerpiece candle holder would look great on any tabletop. And I love this pottery mixed with the greenery. Here's a sign and another one. And who doesn't love the colors of fall in that wreath? Oh my gosh, I love this pillow. Hello, pumpkin, with the fringe on the side. And I love how they mixed it with the animal print pillow behind. Now, when I saw this table setting, I was like, love, love, love. But what I really liked was that wood charger. I may have to go back for those. Apple cider, hay rides, pumpkins, bonfires, and leaves. So cute. I love that lantern. Oh, and guys, these are really hot this year. The black vase with the pampas grass. Imagine that on a tabletop with some pumpkin and some leaf scatter. It would look so adorable. I thought these were pretty unique and different looking. And oh my goodness, the selection of pumpkin spice candles. Check it out. Who doesn't love to burn a pumpkin spice anything? Pottery with dried florals is super in. It seems to me that the going look around town is a black lantern with wood accents. Super in right now. Oh, I love this plate when I saw it. And these wood candle holders caught my attention. Oh, I love these candles. Here's some more lanterns and some more. Like I said, pottery is really in this year. I thought these were very unique. Oh, how I love this bowl. Imagine a bowl of raffia or moss with some pumpkins mixed in. These are cool. And here's the pampas grass mixed with other things. Very, very cute and different. I love this look. It's, it's very unique. Oh, and I love these wood vases in all different shapes and the pillows and the texture of the pillows. Love. Mixed with that sign, adorable. I was eyeing this pillow because it would look fabulous in my family room with what I've got currently going on. You guys haven't seen that, so stay tuned. This little ladder, I've seen people put these in the corners of their kitchen and they hang dish towels or drape a wreath on it. Adorable. And I loved this vase. Very, very unique and mixed with greenery or dried florals looks amazing, amazing. And here's the white version of it. Now this picture struck my fancy because I loved the metal handle on the side. Very, very cool. And of course you can't beat the pillows at Kirkland's. They're just, they're really good quality. They come in all different textures and colors and some of them even have an embroidered look, which is really nice. Hands down, awesome. Now let's look at all the wonderful wall decor they have. I thought this sign was adorable, home sweet home. Here's another one. I love that bless sign with the big wood trim. And I love the black pieces. Once again, those are super in. You could take that piece and add some fall floral picks in with that green wreath and that would pop.
They had some really cute lamps. I ended up buying three while I was there. Love those mirrors. I bought that one for my daughter's dorm room. And here are some more signs. Love those white kitchen pieces. Can't go wrong with white. And of course the black and white check. I ended up buying this piece. And these candles were pretty cool. I like those for summer. Alrighty friends, that is gonna wrap up the end of my video. Unfortunately, I forgot to film an outro, so my apologies. I hope you all have a fabulous weekend and enjoyed seeing what is in the stores for fall 2021. I was informed that these are the early stages of fall decor that have come into the store, so more is coming. And I wanna thank the manager at Kirkland's for allowing me to photo and film while I was there. And I also wanted to say hi to the nice lady I chatted with. Have a great weekend, everyone, and I will see you in the next video.